So for those of you who may or may not know, uh, it does look that the big crypto bubble is finally bursting. Many of us have, have expected this for quite some time now and knew that this, you know, this attitude of to the moon would not last forever. And it seems to me that this whole FTX scandal that has been steadily unfolding now for the past couple of weeks is going to be quite the bubble burster. Bitcoin has tumbled in price, and with it, everything in that entire crypto sphere is starting to tumble as well. Because even though crypto was sold as the currency of the future, it was never treated like a currency. No one was, you know, spending it as, as a currency. Instead, people were just encouraging themselves just to hoard as much as it po as they possibly could and sit on it like a dragon until eventually it reached a good price and then they could sort of sell it off and then buy some more crypto, the profits, and then rinse and repeat. That's not how a currency works. At some point or another, you've got to be able to start spending it and show that the currency actually has some value. And one of the things that we're certainly finding out about this whole uh, FTX uh, sort of scandal and, and, and bubble bursting around this whole crypto uh, crypto craze at the moment is it looks like that a lot of people's money in crypto may no longer be there and that there may not be enough actual proper liquidity to actually back what a lot of these crypto coins say their actual worth is. So this is going to have a lot of knock-on effects, a lot of knock-on effects. But let's get into this, because this, I think, is well worth covering. So before we uh, continue, please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and one updation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much uh, to all the people for watching. And of course, uh, yes, on with the show. So here we are uh, on The Guardian for, for their little uh, piece about this. So after the FTX crash, here's what you need to know. The crypto bubble is already bursting. Following the bankruptcy of one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges, FTX and the price of Bitcoin, or BTC, has tumbled again. It is now about $16,500, a far cry from the all-time high of $66,000 just a year ago. But why the large drop in value? It's because of the highly toxic combination of an exchange with an electronic platform for buying and selling called Binance and a stablecoin, a crypto whose price is pegged at least one to one of the US dollar or another fiat currency called Tether. And of course, the skilled professional traders running the high frequency algorithms. Unlike stocks, Bitcoin can be traded on many different exchanges, but uh, Binance has more than a 50% of the entire crypto market, and as a result, it sets the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. In order to buy cryptocurrencies, traders must convert fiat money into stablecoin, like Tether. Bitcoin Tether must then uh, has by far the largest volume of all its products in Binance, and because $1 usually equals to one Tether, Trading on Bitcoin Tether sells the dollar price of Bitcoin. But when Bitcoin crashes, so does the entire crypto ecosystem. The issue is that Binance is only self-regulated, meaning that it is completely unregulated by a traditional market regulators such as Securities Exchange Commission in the US or even the Federal Conduct Authority here in the UK. This is the great attraction for professional traders because they can deploy high-frequency price manipulation algorithms on Binance, which are against the law in regulated markets. These algorithms can then rapidly reduce price movements up and down, making Bitcoin extremely volatile. 
Binance does its own clearing and settlements of traders, with some or all of the self-regulated crypto exchanges. This means that losing counterparts of those on the other side of profitable trades will often have their positions wiped out automatically without notice. Unlike normal exchanges, these self-regulated crypto exchanges aren't required to raise the alarm when a trade has lost so much money that the collateral in the, ex the account needs topping up. Instead, traders are solely responsible for funding their accounts by continually monitoring something called the liquidation price. This is done automatically by algorithms run by professional traders, but it is ex ex exhaustingly for ordinary players like you and me, who might need to remain highly vigilant whenever manipulation is being used to create volatility that professional traders use to increase their profits. When professional traders uh, trade against each other, it's what's called a toxic flow, because the chance of profit is more like 50-50 if their algorithms are equally fast and effective. Professional traders much prefer their, their, counter, their counterplay to be an ordinary investor. This is worrying because Binance has been highly successful in attracting ordinary investors, and the fees it earns from this kind of investor have funded its very rapid expansion. It is now branching out with its own stablecoin and blockchain and NFT marketplace, and Binance is consolidating its role as the Amazon of crypto, following a very effective business model. In some ways, it can be like the current the current circumstances in the crypto market to the burst of the dot com bubble in two thousand and one to two thousand and two. The venture capital that had poured its entire into internet startups in the early nineteen nineties to two thousand suddenly dried up, and as many companies went bankrupt this year, Three Arrows Capital, one of the largest crypto hedge funds, has defaulted on its loans, and major crypto lending companies, Celsius and Voyager, have filed for bankruptcy as the price of Bitcoin has collapsed following some unexpected and shocking attacks on the new type of stablecoin called Terra. Following the bankruptcy of FTX, several other exchanges such as uh, Gremlin uh, and a leading platform for shadow banks including Genesis are preventing customers from even withdrawing their funds. So you can see how bad things are getting. This is a absolute market crash compared to this. If would have, this would actually happen to something like the dollar or the pound, the, this would be absolutely economic Armageddon. And of course, this is what happens when you have a completely unregulated marketplace. <laughs> so remember that when you know Tories or, or conservatives or even libertarians talk about how wonderful an unregulated marketplace really is it really isn't because it's leading to this <laughs> so back to it we see a lot more of this contagion and persist and persi uh, participating widespread bankruptcies among startups that now that venture capital has dried up in the crypto sector more exchanges and lending platforms, as well as blockchains and NFT marketplaces, data ad agitators and analytics companies will all bite the dust. Binance could emerge from this chaos with a monopoly. But right now, this non-domicile and self-regulated company still needs fee revenue from ordinary investors. It needs markets and marketers, the professional traders, akin to unfriendly stallholders on the exchange to conduct its business. The danger is that everyone is very scared now. So the only way to draw in ordinary investors is to pump up the price of Bitcoin again. This would tempt people back into the crypto game, but only to have their savings wiped out as the cycle of volatility continues. So as you can see, once again, um, yeah, crypto is not a wise investment at all. And of course, because I can predict it's going to happen because I have said the magic words crypto and crypto is in the title. There is going to be a magical conversation that takes place by all these people who aren't subscribed to my channel. But it's going to be, gee, I agree with your conversation, but I found that investing in crypto just happens to be the best thing. To which someone else will reply, gee, I invested in crypto but didn't get a thing. To which eventually leads to all trying to promote a crypto trader. <laughs> something that again um is not a good investment crypto has never really been a stable or good investment it is not backed by a, a single fiat company it is non-regulated which is leading to this colossal mess that you're seeing right now 
there's a whole other bunch of the FTX stuff going on as well. Uh, Matt Binder, uh, he runs a, a podcast come this, runs called The Scam Economy. Um, they've done some fantastic reporting and got some fantastic experts to talk about the fall of FTX and just what's going on there. So if you're really interested in that and you want to sort of dive deeper into just what the hell's going on over there, um, you know, head on over there. Um, like I say, it's it's well worth a visit. But yeah, oh boy, um, the Bitcoin bubble ha seems to finally be bursting and it's what a lot of people and a lot of experts predicted. And of course, who are the people coming out of it? at least making the money out of it. Well, it's the rich people making a colossal expense to the poor people who they got invested with their life savings. And because they have the algorithms and they don't, they're the ones that are making all the money from this. So be extremely careful, guys. Do not get pulled into this ridiculous crypto world scam. But of course, as always, thank you very much for watching. And of course, please do remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there is a link to my Patreon page where you can, again, uh, support me on there. Or there's the one-off day link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. Or there's the YouTube thank you button again down below. And of course, there's YouTube Pony Club as well. You can join as well. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And of course, we'll see you all next time.